Good way to pull that arm through. Let's go. Yes, so good. Focus on that checkpoint. Yes, great finish. Last one. Hit out. Let's go. Yes, that's so good. <sighs> Does your forehand feel tight or weak right now? Are you frustrated with trying so hard on your forehand but not getting that effortless pop and that ability to confidently dominate like you deserve? In today's video, we're gonna cover the three most powerful levers that you can tap into on your forehand. And by the end of this video, by mastering all three, you're gonna be able to unlock massive power and force when you accelerate. So we're gonna start with lever number three and finish with the number one most important lever. So let's jump right in to lever three. So here's lever number three. The most common mistake that players make when they're trying to hit the ball hard is they won't extend their arm to go forward through the ball at contact. If we pull out Nadal, Federer, and Alcaraz, you'll see that as they initiate their acceleration, and when they make contact, their arm is gonna perform what's known as horizontal shoulder adduction through the ball at contact. So the specific key checkpoint for you to focus on that's gonna allow you to tap into massive effortless power on your forehand is after your contact, rather than tightening up, bending your arm in, feeling really anxious, focusing on the form is gonna be the key for you. So right at contact, focus on extending your arm with adduction through the ball and hitting out. So let's have Chloe demonstrate that perfect checkpoint. Here we go. All right, perfect. So good wide stance, way to hit forward. Yes, that's so good. I love that. Good way to pull that arm through. Let's go. Yes, so good. Focus on that checkpoint. Yes, great finish. Last one, hit out. Let's go. Yes, that's so good. All right, Chloe's got that master. Great job. Let's go. All right, world class athlete. So now you've got lever number three. Let's jump into lever number two, where you're gonna learn exactly how to tap into generating the massive amount of force from your core. If you want access to a step-by-step -step system that will permanently improve your muscle memory, there's a free video you can click in the link below. Click on it before it expires. So the second power lever that's gonna allow you to tap into crushing your forehand with confidence and domination has everything to do with how you use your core and how you rotate on your forehand. So again, let's pull out those best players in the world. And you'll notice that when they initiate their acceleration, they're gonna focus on driving off of their outside leg, they're gonna be rotating their body and simultaneously pulling their arm through. And on shots where they're really gonna crush it, like an example of Alcaraz right here practicing, notice where after he finishes, his body is actually gonna finish in a fully opened up stance. And essentially what this is empowering him to do is it's allowing him to channel his entire core and body weight going forward into the shot. So the checkpoint for you to focus on is when you accelerate, focus on opening up your stance and rotating your body going forward and through the shot, just like that. Feeling as much power as you can uh, from that core going forward into the shot. So let's have Chloe execute a few reps with that perfect rotation. Here we go. Here your main focal point with the arm is perfect. Focus on pushing off that right leg and rotating your body through the shot, just like that. Explosive from the ground. Let's get it. Here we go, world-class pop. Yes, great rotation, that's so good. Awesome, Chloe, great legs, good space. Yes, all out match point, come on. Yes, that's huge, Chloe. All right, awesome. All right, world-class athlete, you've got the adduction, you've got the rotation. Let's close with the number one most powerful lever to give you that effortless pop. Uh, all right, world-class athlete, in this last section, you're gonna master the number one most powerful lever that's gonna give you massive power on your forehand. Now, before we dive into it, I wanna encourage you to click the link in the description where you can learn exactly how to take all this information and program it using a revolutionary new system that's designed to give you world-class forehand technique in your actual muscle memory. Because have you ever watched a video been really excited to put it into practice, but you just found yourself making the same mistakes, this is the system that's gonna change the game for you. So click the link in the description where you can immediately watch a free video right now that's gonna teach you exactly how to get all that. So click the link before it expires. Now, the number one most common mistake that players make with this last power lever is that when they're playing against weaker players, they start to get nervous, they start to get tight. Oh my gosh, I gotta get the ball in. And what's gonna happen is they're gonna back up and they're not going to transfer their body weight forward into the court. So once you've mastered, number three, your adduction. Number two, your rotation. The last element that's gonna give you that breakthrough pop 
is the amount of forward weight shift that you generate on your forehand. So how exactly can you do that? The exact step-by-step -step process for you to follow the next time you step out with your favorite hitting partner is you wanna focus on getting into a wide semi-open stance. And what you're gonna focus on when you accelerate, focus on shifting your weight forward, rotating and adducting, and dragging that right leg back. By dragging that right leg back, it's gonna ensure that you're getting that perfect weight transfer in forward force going into the shot, just like that. So apply these three power levers and you're gonna get that breakthrough result on your forehand. If you now wanna master the pro drop position on your serve, if you wanna learn more about creating effortless power on your forehand with Chloe, click there, click that link in the description before it expires and I'll see you on the next video. Let's go.